What's up guys? So this is the first part to the 9-2 video series. It's going to be divided into three parts. And this first video is just going to talk about the very basic stuff that you need to know about quadratic functions. So the first thing that we're going to look at is an example. And the example is going to talk about the axis of symmetry and the vertex. We have to find both of them. It's very easy to do. You just have to use the correct formula. The thing is, though, in this case, we actually don't want a graph. We want to be able to use the formulas and the concepts in quadratic functions in order to get the answer. So the first thing we're going to do here is find the axis of symmetry of our quadratic function, which is negative 6x squared plus 12x minus 3. To find the axis of symmetry, you need to use that formula from the previous lesson, negative b over 2a. What you need to recall is that standard form of a quadratic function is ax squared plus bx plus c. And if you look at our example, the position of a, which is the coefficient in front of the x squared term, well, that's negative 6. And the position of b, which is the coefficient of the x term, is 12 in this case. So when you plug negative 6 and 12 into the formula negative b over 2a, you get negative 12. Remember, 12 is positive here, and the formula says negative b. So you have to take the negative of positive 12, which is why it says negative 12 here now. 2 times a would be 2 times negative 6, and 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. So you basically have negative 12 over negative 12. And any number divided by itself is 1. So that's why the answer to the axis of symmetry is 1. But a big thing you have to also know about this is that the axis of symmetry is actually going to be an equation. It's not just the number 1. The axis of symmetry is x equals 1. So what that means exactly is if I were to draw a little sketch of this situation, well, the dotted line you see there, right here, uh, that is passing through this, uh, this coordinate plane at the value of 1. And that's what the axis of symmetry means. It is passing through the x-axis at whatever number it says. So the only thing you don't really know yet is uh, how high the uh, parabola is going to go. Is it going to shift up a little bit? Is it going to shift up a lot? You're not sure. That's the only thing we don't know yet. But what we do know is that the axis of symmetry is also the x-coordinate of the vertex. So all you have to do is really plug and chug. So this is the next part of the problem. We already found the axis of symmetry by using this formula right here, negative b over 2a, and we got our answer right here, x equals 1. What we now have to do is determine the vertex of our parabola, which we kind of pointed out right there, but we actually don't know how high or low the parabola is going to go. So what we're going to do is just recognize since the axis of symmetry is passing through the middle of the parabola, it is also passing through the vertex. And since we have the x-axis right here, well, then that means the axis of symmetry is also the x-coordinate of our vertex. So all you have to really do is plug in the axis of symmetry value, which in this case is 1, and that would look like this. x becomes 1, so you get negative 6 times 1 squared plus 12 times 1 minus 3. And then when you simplify that, you get negative 6 plus 12 minus 3, which equals 3. So that means you just calculated your y value, which is right here. You just calculated that to be 3, meaning the x value is 1, which is the same thing as the axis of symmetry. And your y value, your output, is 3. So that's how you would calculate the vertex. And I will just go ahead and box this top one in because uh, this parabola is actually going through the correct vertex. Uh, we are at 1, 3 right there at that point. And that's it. That's how you basically find the axis of symmetry and determine the vertex without really having to graph your problem. 